Well, when we were working on this record, um, pretty much like about two weeks before we finished touring our last record, um, my right eye started to droop. <coughs> yep. And um, ptosis. Yep. Yep. A lot of people have it. And um, yep. A lot of famous people have it. And um, so, and um, people from from the ptosis, um, like organization reached out to me and uh, I talk about Tosis every night just to you know, oh, get Tosis out there. I'm just kidding, that's totally not true, that's a lie. But um, anyway, my eyes started to droop and uh, I didn't even really notice. Other people started to notice and right, they would be like, why are you winking in all your pictures? And I was like, I'm not. <laughs> and, um, but when I smiled, it would get worse. And um, I kind of liked it because I really like working those kind of angles, like I said, when I'm dating. and. Um, <laughs> I think that you should embrace the things that make you different, and um, in my case, as being an identical twin, I'll take a droopy eye if that's what will distinguish me. <laughs> Sarah will probably get it too. So, but um, anyway, so my eyes started to droop, and uh, and uh, and it was kind of a hot summer in Vancouver, and I was writing, I was writing songs, and I was single, and I lived in this giant house, and I just would spend a lot of time looking at my eye, <laughs> and I would. Like a lot of time, <laughs> and I would take like photos. I don't know because it's like a new thing. It's like I don't know. Sometimes I don't know if anyone else does this, and I I don't care if anyone judges me about this. But sometimes I don't have any like full length mirrors in my house. I don't really like the idea of that. But I'll set up my camera from time to time and like do a time sh time shot of myself before I leave the house to see if my outfit looks good. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I don't do that. I'm just kidding. Um, but. I do do that, but I also started to set up the camera and I would put it on like multiple shots. So it would take like ten shots of me in a row, and I would sit there and I would make different faces and like and I was just shooting my face to see like when my eye drooped and I tried to find like I almost built like a chart to see like what words were the worst to say and like how much more my eye would droop and stuff. And um, anyway, I had to go see like a, a bunch of different doctors. I went and saw like four specialists. It was like a really long process to find out I had ptosis because nobody knew what I had. They thought maybe that I had a stroke in my face. And <clears throat> wow, you laughed. That's amazing. Um, they thought I had a stroke. <laughs> and, uh, I know. Secretly, I was super stoked as well about the stroke thing because I thought ptosis or a stroke, which one of the girls gonna like more? And um, anyway, one time when I was sitting in the doctor's office, I started to talk out loud to myself without, and I didn't even realize I was doing it. And I was like, I am fucked up. And, and my mom and my sister were absolutely obsessed with the ptosis, and they used to call me constantly, and they would send pictures of me from when I was a kid, like trying. They would like basically between the two of them, they were trying to figure out when it was that the ptosis struck. And uh, anyway. I remember uh, coming home from my third appointment, I wrote this song. I found you in my last song. 